Okay, question two. Um, Dylan, he is driving from London to Newcastle. He will drive a total distance of 240 miles. Dylan leaves London at half nine in the morning, so 9.30. It takes him uh, one and a half hours to travel the first 90 miles. So we're talking about 1.5 hours. If we want to turn that into a decimal, which might be helpful. Um, use the information to estimate the time that Dylan will arrive in Newcastle. You must show how you get your answer. So when is he get, we're going to have to estimate, keyword there, estimate, the time that Dylan will arrive in Newcastle. So Newcastle is 240 miles away. And we probably need to work out um, how fast is he get travelling in this first initial 90 miles. It's taken him an hour and a half to do the first 90 miles. Let's start thinking about the formulas. So we're going to get our triangle up, the speed distance time. So however you choose to remember this, downstairs toilet or whatever, whatever it is. Um, we're looking for, well, we know what the time is, 1.5 hours. We know what the distance is. So we want to know his average speed. So we'll do speed equals um, distance divided by time. So speed is going to equal, let's have a look, speed is um, distance, which is 90, divided by 1.5 hours. So you might be thinking 90 divided by 1.5. Um, I like to times both of these by 10 to get rid of the decimal. Makes it easier for me. So 900 divided by 15 times top and bottom by 10. Keep it equivalent fraction. And I can see that, I know that... Um, 15 goes into 90 six times. So I've got six and a zero left on top, so that would be 60. So it looks like he's doing 60 um, miles per hour. That's his average speed. So how far have I got to go? If I'm doing 60 miles an hour and I've got to do 240 miles, how long is that going to take me? So we need to work out the time this time. If we were doing, time is distance over speed, so if we were doing the whole lot, 240 miles, at a speed of 60 miles an hour, how long would it take us? Well, when we divide it, we can cancel off any zeros that match, and then 224 divided by 6 is going to give me 4. So the, uh, what were the units? Miles per hour, so that's 4 hours. It would take us if we were traveling at that speed the whole way. So what was the question actually asking us? Let's just remind ourselves. Use the information to estimate the time that he will arrive. So we're not interested in how long it takes. We want to know when does he get there. So he leaves at half nine. So 9.30 plus four hours is going to give us a total of, he's going to get there at half one. Okay, so that's when he arrives. Part B, write down one assumption that you've made. So what do we have to assume to work that out? Well, we have to assume that he was driving at a constant speed. And I suppose we've also assumed that he hasn't stopped at all. So no stops along the way. Okay guys, hope that's helpful.